Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. So we're back on project fiberglass race truck. Um, so tonight we are not going to be working on the front clip. So I epoxied that piece if you saw the last episode, which if you haven't, definitely check out. Also, while you're doing that, subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the bell notification icon, and all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, if you saw that episode, I made a little piece for the front end of the um, race truck here. Here on the front clip to add another support to the very center of the front bumper area and then two pieces coming up to about here and here on the bumper area so we got that installed with big thanks to the guys at Peach Bottom Auto Body um, so as you guys know um, Sean and the guys over there at Peach Bottom Auto Body are where I take my trucks when I hit a deer or something unfortunate like that happens they're who I deal with for that kind of stuff. Sean actually was gracious enough to come over here and help us take the factory windshield out of the race truck. Well, I hit them up um, and they were able to supply us um, with some epoxy for the front end, some more of that panel adhesive to try and connect the bracket for, from the, the bracket for the hinge to the front clip. So really that stuff i got it off of amazon and you know that's like two or three days out we're at a weekend yada 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 i wanted it as soon as possible so they were able to hook me up with that that big shank big thanks to them thank you guys i appreciate it so anyway we got that all mocked up that adhesive that they gave me is setting up on the front end um the particular stuff that they had takes like 24 hours to set up which isn't a big deal um, we're going to just let that set, set up. We put it in place, you know, kind of pressed it forward and up. So we have, you know, hopefully some good kind of clamping ability. Um, that's the problem with that stuff is you're really supposed to just kind of clamp it. You know, it's made to put panels together up here. We can't really do that. But like with our hinges, if we force it against the panel and, you know, we have our stops and, and whatnot, that should you know provide like a clamping type force there so anyway that's done while that's setting up though we can still work on some more fiberglass so as you can see behind me i have one of our bedsides out here so that's where our second shout out comes um and that's to md diesel fab i always talk him up about his roll cages and stuff like that definitely check him out on the instagram um while i was there picking this up which we'll talk about in a second he was, you know, making the main hoop for this very, very clean, like, 06, 07 truck. Um, and he, you know, bent it all up while I was there, while we were chit-chatting. Kind of like it was nothing, not a big deal. And, man, that thing is tight. For a truck that's going to have a full interior, that cage is, it's almost going to seem like part of the interior. I mean, it was, it was impressive work. Trust me, he's got a picture on his Instagram of it. Definitely check it out. So, anyway, what Mr. MD Diesel Fab, Mike hooked us up with is his bedside um, tool. So like he said, setting these trucks up, really the biggest pain is the bedsides because you know you don't have enough hands. So that's why he made this little mock-up tool. So that way we can put these on our frame rails, hang our bedsides, get everything there. We can adjust them in and out, up and down and all that. So we're gonna get these mocked up on our frame. Um, he did tell me that he made this particular um, mock-up tool for like a tube chassis on a Ford. So it might be a little different on our frame. And honestly, I already mocked it up once just real quick with some clamps and you know the, the frame sloping down here and an angle is a little bit of an issue, but we can correct that. And the other thing is that these um, bars as you can see they are just a hair short i mean they are long enough we can get some weld on there so it's not going to be a big issue we can take care of it not a problem so we'll get this tool kind of all installed what i really want to do is kind of center it, center it over the wheel and that way we have you know kind of good spread we also have a work area in the front and the back for when we come up with our mounting solution for our bedside so we'll get this thing all set up on the frame. Um, I'll probably just kind of mock it up. I don't know if I'll tack weld it or not, but then we will talk about it some more and get to kind of hanging our bedside.
So our bedside setup rig from MD Diesel Fab is all set up. So what I did here is I just tacked a couple of nuts to fill the void here. But as you guys can see, it's not moving anywhere. The inner tube does move and wiggle a little bit. But once we tighten down our bolt, it'll be nice and secure. But this will allow us to just hang our bedside on top of there and get it all figured out with enough working room front and back that we can get our front and rear mounts if we need a center mount. We can do that later, you know, we'll have the front and the rear, we can probably support it in a different way, whatever. But without this, um, how you would hang these bedsides and get like the body lines right and all that, by yourself would be, wow, such a pain. So it's a great little device that he let us lend, or he lent us, but we may have made a little bit of an improvement. So as you guys can see, it just kind of slides on top of these bars here and that's nice and all, but once you hang the bedside and get it clamped up there, if you want to make an adjustment, you got to come in the inside of the frame, undo a nut or a bolting, I should say, and kind of lift it up and do it that way. There's no real fine um, adjustment. So I made a little upgrade um, that Mike can incorporate into version 2.0 of this. Um, what I did was I actually took some threaded rod real quick and actually made a little plate on a nut so we can stick it in there with a washer on the bottom. Like that. And then go from there. So, so really this is just something real quick I came up with. We'll tack our washer so our all threads not moving all around. We'll tack this plate to the bottom here if I was thinking more I would have made this so it fit inside of there and all that or something of the sort but now we can just reach over the edge and with a with a wrench we can dial this thing up and down however much we want and just kind of get our fine tuning in that way so we'll go around on each corner and tack each of these things in get them all set up so version 2.0 of this template i'm sure mike will uh will appreciate that we came up with a little better way to do it um honestly if it wasn't for him reaching out to me and you know letting me borrow this i would have never thought of even making a rig like this so big shout out to mike i appreciate it but hopefully this will make your next bed stall bed side install uh easier just having this fine adjustment with the nuts here so anyway guys we'll get to tacking that all in and uh hang a bedside up and kind of get her looking like a truck again So we got our bedside hung and clamped down. Um, I think the body line's actually looking pretty good. If we look at that line right here, it might need to go up in the rear a little bit. Um, maybe we need some fine tuning, but really the thing we are looking for is to get our center, center for our axle because we have to actually cut out our wheel well. Then we can get this thing pushed in and really get everything dialed in. Um, I do have our spacing here. If you look at how this fiberglass is laid out, it looks like uh, like on Caitlin. You know, here's where the plastic bed rail would be, and here's the actual bed body. So there was about an inch and a quarter, I believe it was, in here, and then the whole body line on the truck. I could like just kind of get two fingers in, but. What we'll do is we will actually mark our wheel well out and we will cut that out and then we get this thing pressed, you know, where it should be in line with the cab, not kind of all sticking out and like all wally and whatnot, because, you know, obviously this being pushed out, this line's going to be up a little higher, so we'll have to dial it in after we do that. But we want to get our axle, axle center line just right and, you know, kind of make that and get you know get it looking like a proper truck again it kind of looks like a panel van right now um i mean it would look pretty 
Well, I don't want to say it would look pretty cool. I don't know how cool it would look, but it would definitely look very different if we somehow figured out a way to make it look like that, kind of tuck the tire up in there. You know, when we had our Hoosiers on there, it would certainly look very different, but that's not what we're going for. Um, and I don't know how we do that with our current, you know, bed sides. Uh, but anyway, that's how it looks right now. So what we'll do is we're gonna have to mark that, you know, get our center line for our axle, make a template and get this wheel well cut out. Then we can get this thing pressed back and in place. We're not gonna be doing that tonight because, well, it is pretty nasty outside. It's kind of like raining, half snowing, which is funny because it was like 60, like two days ago. Well, that's Pennsylvania spring weather for you or, you know, fake spring, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, we're not going to get to cutting the wheel well out tonight um, just because it's nasty outside. And if you're trying to make a cardboard template and it's raining and all, how are we going to fare? Probably not well. So we're just going to leave it where we're at. We're in a good position to get this thing all lined up and dialed in. Now, as far as mounting goes, I don't have a specific plan in mind yet. But basically my current thinking is to have a bracket come up from the front frame rail and bracket come up from the rear of the frame rail and then see how everything is sitting and then maybe we'll add something to the middle. We will definitely need some support on the bottom probably before the wheel, after the wheel, in the front and the back just to keep everything secure. But it's certainly not gonna be as much of a hassle as our front end is because, well, we don't have to tilt our bedside. Well, we don't have to tilt that, but we're gonna try and make it work. But I do wanna make it easily removable. So if we're you know, doing something or we wanna work back there, we can just pull the bedside off. We have easy access. We don't have to climb through this little jungle gym of bars and whatnot to get to something. We can just pull the bedside off and get to it easily, have all the access we need because well, why not? We're making it to our liking. So anyway, guys, all we really did was get our bedside mocked up, but it's a big step, you know, making this thing look like a truck again. It's starting to kind of come together, um, looking like a truck. We're on, once we get this fiberglass all done, it's basically all just little stuff. We, we do have one little mm, change in the front end we need to make, but you'll see that when you see that. It, it's gonna be after the front clip's done for sure. But anyway, it's starting to come together, starting to look like a truck again. We got some work to do in the back, some work to do in the front, but it's all cosmetic and we can get it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Get out in your garage, get the wrenching on your truck.